when a trigger is used, we may want to invoke some of our own code. And we can do this using trigger callbacks. In the previous versions, we had events, but events on triggers actually kind of create spaghetti code, which is something you really don't want to do. So instead, we can now use callbacks. So I'm going to create a new C -sharp script, and I'll call it my trigger callback listener. And I'm going to open this script. We don't need that, so all we really need to do is start using the devdoc.general namespace and then we want to implement the i trigger callbacks. And then we want to implement the interface methods that come with this. In most cases you can select this and on the left you get a little uh, light bulb and you can say implement missing members which allows you to implement those, uh, those methods. So we get the on trigger used and the on trigger unused. These are the two methods that will be called when our trigger is used. So I can simply say debug.log trigger used and trigger unused. Also, you get the player variable that actually used this trigger. So if you use uh, a multiplayer setup, so you have multiple characters uh, on a single client, you can actually see which player used this specific trigger. So I'm just going to save that and then go back to Unity. And here we have our vendor, which also has a trigger. All the vendors, the crafting station, uh, let's see, here we have a lootable object. All of these use triggers. So we can use our trigger callback listener on all of these uh, components. So I'm just going to drag this onto here. And now when we run it, we see nothing, but why? The trigger callback listener will only invoke on the first active component. So in this case, this um, component has a trigger, but our vendor trigger is also listening for the callbacks on the trigger. So if we move it up all the way above our vendor trigger, it will grab the events from the trigger and it they won't propagate downwards onto the vendor trigger. So if I now click on it, you can see the trigger has been used, but our vendor window has not been shown. If we want our vendor trigger to show up after all, our vendor window, we can use our current object, grab the component, vendor trigger, which is of course in the devdoc.inventory pro namespace, and then we can simply say on trigger used player. So we basically pass on the event onto the, uh, the next object. So if we go back now, it should say trigger used and it should also use the vendor trigger. And there we go.